Former Twitter employee Simon Balmain on Friday told how he was sacked as the firm cut workers' access to internal systems after telling employees they would be informed by email about whether they were being laid off. Balmain, based in Birmingham in the English Midlands region, said he was holding tight to see how the process will play out. After he was logged out of the company's internal systems, amid expected job cuts. Balmain, who describes himself in his Twitter bio as former senior community manager at Twitter, told us that he had received an email in the early hours of the morning detailing expected layoffs. Um, an email went out uh, in the early hours of, of the UK um, that confirmed the sort of rumors we've been hearing for a while about there being um, layoffs coming. The, the email basically said there'd be a large reduction in headcount. Um, it said that uh, if, if we would be affected, we'd hear to our personal email, if not to our work email. And it was about an hour after that that um, I found that my uh, work laptop was remotely wiped and access to Slack and Gmail revoked. Um, checked in with a few um, US colleagues who were still awake um, and many of them were reporting seeing the same thing. Um, I've, I've heard from a couple of people that they've had um, emails saying that they're being kept on. Um, that's about all I, all I know and they didn't go into too much detail. Um, that's only a couple of instances from the, I guess, a few dozen people that I've, I've directly spoken to at this point. I think um, it seems to have moved very quickly. Um, I don't, uh, it, it seems difficult to me to understand how you would be able to correctly evaluate so many people's um, positions and performances and you know the value of, of roles um, in such a small period of time um, that's the kind of the part that I'm, I'm struggling with um, but as, as I say you know it's um it's one of those things where pretty much everything about this whole acquisition has been unprecedented so um, expecting anything to go in in any particular way um, it's not really something that you can sort of hang your hat on. Um, obviously, in, in in the way that this plays out, they will have to be very careful about abiding by labor laws in, in any given territory. Um, that's not really something that, that you can just ignore. So we'll, we'll have to see how that plays out. It, I mean, it, it seems pretty likely that... Um, People with with different circumstances will have you know some some pretty challenging times ahead. I, I think certainly people that are on uh, work related visas um, are, are going to be feeling very anxious right now. And my you know my heart goes out to them. You know, depending on on what kind of visas people are on, if they aren't able to find new employment quite quickly, they they may have to you know, leave their homes, leave the countries that they may have lived in for years, um, and that's that's really heartbreaking. So um, anything that I think people can do to help support anybody in, in this position um, that, you know, that's that support network is already happening. It's really strong. It's really great to see it. It's, it's keeping people going and that's amazing to see. It's, it's kind of all over the place. I mean, I, I think a lot of it depends on your sort of personal attitude. Um, I'm a pretty Zen person, so I just get on with my day. Um, but I, I think we, we kind of, this was, it wasn't unexpected once the, transaction had completed last week because obviously the entire sort of executive team were sort of immediately fired at that point um, and those were those were the people that we we all sort of directly reported to in, in the chain so once that's sort of removed then um, it's kind of hard to figure out what's what's going to happen next and we you know weren't really told too much um, things all sort of went a bit quiet so people were just kind of confused um and yeah that's, that's where we are today so i i do think there will be significant product changes yeah i mean it's i think the saddest thing to me is that there were a lot of really promising projects and that had been sort of launched 
or were about to launch in, in the last sort of six to 12 months. Um, and if, if those don't sort of get, get continued, that would be a real shame. There was some really great stuff happening. Um, but at the same time, I understand that due to the economics of, of this acquisition, um, it's very likely that the product focus, at least in the short to medium term, um, if not completely, will shift to things that sort of directly bring in revenue. I would say broadly that, that things where uh, things where people either pay the company or um, get paid by the company with the company sort of taking a cut, um, a sort of creator model, um, I think those will probably be the two the two biggest focuses um, going forward. I'm kind of just yeah holding tight to to see how this process plays out. I mean, I'm um, I'm pretty I'm pretty sort of I have a good reputation in the UK startup scene. I was an early employee at Monzo, um, so I did a lot of work at Monzo for a number of years. That was very sort of public and community events and management. Um, so I have. I have good connections. I have people reaching out to me already. I, I get headhunted all the time. So uh, it's just one of those things where we'll see how this plays out and um, I'll review any options as and when I need to and see where we go. Twitter Inc. temporarily closed its offices following a week of uncertainty about the company's future under new owner Elon Musk. The social media company said in an email to staff, it would tell them by 9 a.m. Pacific time on Friday about staff cuts. Musk, the world's richest person, is looking to cut around 3,700 Twitter staff, or about half the workforce, as he seeks to slash costs and impose a demanding new work ethic. The company's content moderation team is expected to be impacted, according to tweets by Twitter staff. Musk has promised to restore free speech while preventing Twitter from descending into a hellscape. However, his reassurances have failed to prevent major advertisers from threatening to withdraw from the platform. Twitter did not immediately respond to a request for comment.